Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Gordon Frayne. Today, we're talking about asymmetric opportunities in the crypto space. We're talking about shoots on BitTensor Tau. As always, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button below. Hit subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, and you've got a completely free copy of the Rise of Bitcoin waiting for you in the description below the video. Grab it now and let's talk about shoots. Okay, so I have covered and spoken about shoots many times on the channel here. You can check out the other videos as well. But if you're not already familiar, shoots is the leading number one subnet on the BitTensor ecosystem. When it comes to emissions, it garners and earns the majority or the largest amount of the emissions on the Tau network every single day. It's been the leader here for the past five to six months in terms of earning those emissions. And if you're not familiar with how subnets operate and compete against each other, check out the other videos on my channel to help give you a better understanding of that. But if we check out the price action for shoots over the past couple of months, we can see that it's actually been in a bit of a downtrend when it comes to its price against Tau and in US dollar terms. So we can see a few months ago, back in April, we were up at a 0 0.4 shoots per subnet alpha token, sorry, 0 0.4 tau per subnet alpha token for shoots. And we're down to 0 0.14 at this moment in time, which is equal to about $60.94. So we've had a pretty sharp fall off in the past couple of months. I'm just coming over here to tau.app so I can measure this on a percentage basis. We've had about a 64, 65% drawdown in the price of the shoot subnet alpha token in the past 103 days. Is that a bad thing? Well, yes, it's obviously not great if you've been purchasing shoots up at these prices, but you could view it from the perspective that this is a very good buying the dip opportunity. We do have a little bit of support here around this particular level, which goes back to March and where we found support again at the beginning of July. So I'm looking to see if this is going to hold and potentially not a bad place to be adding to your Shoots bag. If you're not familiar, Shoots provides decentralized compute to power AI models. If we jump over to their website here, you can see very, very quickly, there's a whole bunch of open source models that you can be running on the Shoots network. The advantage of Shoots compared to centralized competitors is that people and businesses can run these serverless AI models in a very cost-effective way. It is significantly cheaper to be running these open source models like DeepSeek, like Llama, etc., in a decentralized serverless manner compared to using centralized competitors. So there's many, many different use cases. Again, you can see DeepSeek, um, Llama, Mistral, different AI image generation, open source protocols here. You've got all these different LLMs and different models that you can be tapping into as an individual user, as a business. And what we've been seeing is huge growth with the Shoots network over the past number of months. In fact, Shoots has achieved almost 160 billion tokens processed per day since January. And the Shoots AI compute token demand has grown 256x since that January time period as well. You can see over here just how monumental that growth has been as we move through February, March, and then explosive growth here into Q2 and Q3 of 2025. They have introduced the ability for people to actually um, purchase shoots using fiat currency and accepting fiat payments. So we are seeing a little bit of a drop off here because they introduced some minimum payments, but you can see it's been increasing again for the past few weeks. All revenue is used to buy back their alpha token. So they are using some pretty efficient tokenomic buybacks, which is boding pretty, pretty well for the price in the long term. We may not see that being reflected here in the short term, but in the long term, those token buybacks with all the revenue that they're generating being used to buy back their alpha token, I think that bodes well in the medium to long term. So again, user count growing exponentially here over the past few months. Very exciting to see that. And very, very recently on their X account, they were celebrating hitting that major milestone of 10 trillion tokens processed since the inception of shoots. Again, I drew a comparison here in a previous video to understand just how shoots is comparing to other centralized counterparties. And you can see with that phenomenal token growth, decentralized AI versus their centralized counterparties or centralized competitors, Shoots is on pace to actually be un, um, outpacing the growth of 
Google Gemini, if we extrapolate out the growth they've seen in their first five to six months in operation, extrapolate that out over the next six to 10 months, we are on pace to see phenomenal growth with Shoots as a true decentralized serverless AI competitor when posed or positioned against the likes of ChatGPT, OpenAI, Google Gemini, and many, many others. So this is very exciting for me to see real world adoption of a leading protocol and leading subnet in the Tau ecosystem. And I drew the comparison in a recent video as well to talk about the potential undervaluation of shoots. I do think it is undervalued at this moment in time. If I jump back to Tau stats, we can see the market cap for shoots currently sitting at 117 million US dollars. We've got 1.94 million tokens in circulation. But if I jump over to my Miro board comparison, once again, we can see that they've had a huge number of tokens processed over the past number of months. OpenAI's most recent valuation was at 300 billion US dollars. They're processing somewhere between 250 and 300 trillion tokens per month. If we divide that by how many shoots is processing per month, OpenAI is doing, roughly speaking, 163x the amount of tokens processed compared to shoots. But if we divide the OpenAI valuation by 163, that gives you an estimated potential value for shoots somewhere in the region of $1.84 billion. And just like I showed you on Tau Stats a moment ago, we're sitting at 117 million US dollars as a market cap valuation for shoots right now. So technically speaking, we are extremely undervalued when comparing it on a token input output basis versus some of the leading centralized competitors like OpenAI. So I do think there's room for growth and potential with not just the shoots token in US dollar terms, but also for it to reclaim some of this diminishing losses it's seen over the past few months against the Tau token. I do think we will see it marching back up at some point. If we get a true altcoin season in the overall crypto markets, I do think that will flow down into subnet alpha tokens as well. And you should see shoots marching back up here, maybe somewhere towards that 0.3 to 0.4 Tau price mark. And of course, the US dollar value of shoots will increase as a result of that as well. So I hope you got some value out of today's video, guys. Again, there are lots of different individual use cases for shoots with all of that serverless AI compute. It is far more cost efficient when it comes to advantages of shoots versus their centralized AI counterparties. It's posing a real threat to other models and other large LLMs, just like OpenAI's ChatGPT, Gemini, etc., like we compared on the charts here in today's video, monumental growth since the beginning of this year. And we are poised to see that continue in an exponential fashion. Like I said earlier, I will leave the link for this uh, X account for shoots in the description of this video. Be sure to check it out. As always, if you got any value today out of the video, please just take three seconds, drop a quick thumbs up on the video below. It really helps spread the good word about the channel, about shoots and about the entire crypto ecosystem. So take three seconds, drop a quick thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, and don't forget to grab your completely free copy of the rise of Bitcoin in the description below this video, and we'll catch you in the next one.